All right, so I want to talk to you about the importance of self-identity and how it plays a key role in the way, not only the way you act and the way you speak and the way you feel, but also how other people's how other people perceive you and how other people see you and how other people think what what other people think about you. Self-identity is basically like the formula to becoming a more confident person. So just a couple of weeks back, me and my mom went to get me a gym membership and I'm not going to lie, I was pretty like I was kind of annoyed cuz it was like early in the morning and I I honestly wasn't really feeling like that well at the time and I I just wasn't that confident. I wasn't in the mood. So I literally remember my mom telling me like as soon as we walked out of the gym, my I I remember my mom telling me being like why did, why aren't you why weren't you smiling? Why weren't you why weren't you acting ha- like why weren't you speaking? Why weren't you like you know, acting happy, why weren't you, um, what, what happened to your social skills, and this similar thing happened with my dad, um, as well, he, like, every time, this is obviously all out of love, but every time me and my dad go out to meet some friends, he always, like, comments on my, like, you know, how I'm very, like, antisocial, how I'm so, like, secured, how I'm so introverted, and how it's genuinely been a problem for me for many years, and a couple of weeks ago, we had this, uh, my college had this meet and greet. So basically, uh, since my college year has just started, my college is th- through a meet and greet just a couple of days ago, uh, basically for my parents to see my teachers that are teaching me in college. And I was so no like a week before I um, had found out that this meet and greet was happening, I was so nervous about just underperforming and like not doing well and like you know getting yelled by yelled by not yelled but like you know getting that same usual like oh my parents are gonna comment on my social thing and like I'm still not getting better and like I I was just I didn't want to do it I did not want to do it but I think yeah that morning of that that meet and greet so this meet and greet happened Wednesday today's Friday that uh, morning of the meet and greet I basically I basically just told myself saying, you know what, I'm just gonna, I, like, fuck my feelings. Fuck, fuck my feelings. I'm, I, I don't care about how I feel. All I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pretend that I'm social and confident. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm a social guy. I'm the most social guy that I know. I'm the most confident guy that I, I, I know. I'm the most talkative guy I know. I just, I'm just gonna pretend that I am. I'm just gonna fake it. I know I'm not, but I'm just gonna fake it. I'm just gonna feel good about, good about myself and I went into not not only just the meet and greet. The meet and greet was at like five thirty, like you know, in the evening. I still had school that day, so I went into school at around eleven o'clock with that exact same attitude. And I noticed, and people that I've thought that are so much more confident than me for so many years, I literally felt like I was more confident and social than them, just because I had upgraded my identity and my self-identity and the way I perceive myself I didn't perceive myself as oh you know that that guy is better than me that guy's more confident than me I just said I'm the most confident guy I know I'm the most social guy I know literally that I did that I all I said was that for the whole day and I genuinely I'm not even kidding I genuinely felt that I was more confident than the guy that I've been fearing for two years so I felt pretty good in the school day. The school day lasted from like 11 to 3.30. Got back home. And again, this was kind of like the real boss. This is like the real fight, the meet and greet. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just go into the meet and greet with the exact same attitude. And I've met like, I don't know what it is with me, but every time I talk to my uh, talk to teachers with parents around me, like every time me and my parents go to see my teachers, I just kind of like fumble and I'm really, really awkward and like, not social and not confident now like you know i'll start cracking my knuckles i'll start like you know crossing my arms i'll start like looking down i'll start like doing this with my hands and like i'll just look unattractive and unconfident and i was and i was scared that that was going to happen again in this meet and greet because that that happens every single time me and my parents go to see my teachers i don't know what it is with me it's just something that it just happens is maybe it's just a me thing maybe that so, you know maybe you're dealing with that same thing as well but today that day was different i was just like you know what fuck that 
I'm just, again, I'm just gonna fake it. I'm literally gonna fake it. I'm literally just gonna say, you know what? I'm the most confident guy now. I'm just gonna, my goal is to just, <coughs> excuse me. My goal is just to talk to as many people as I possibly can. Uh, and not just like as many people, but also just talk as much as I can. Like if to my math teacher, I'm not just gonna say, yeah, hi, hello, yes, no. I'm not gonna just give one word answers. I'm gonna give the most detailed answers. I'm gonna talk about like, I'm just gonna talk about anything. Like it might not even make sense. I'm still gonna talk about it. So I did that with my math teacher, my physics teacher and my IT teacher. I did that. And I'm not even kidding. My dad, you, you guys know how I said, my dad has been criticizing me for you know being not social and stuff. After that meeting grade, he literally said that I did brilliant. That is the first time that I've heard him say so, like, like he was like proud and that, that is the first time that I've seen him proud about s something that I did relating to my social skills it's always like it's always like oh you, you know it's, it's all right you're doing better ish but you're still bad obviously it's all out of love but like it's always been like that and this was the first time I was like whoa this is crazy it it's not only did it take me so long to figure out it's also just so easy like you guys I've always heard those people saying, oh, the way you look at yourself is the way other people are going to look at you. That's 100% true. That is 100% fact. If you don't, if you look at yourself and you think, ah, I'm not social, I'm not attractive, I'm not confident, then no one's going to look at you like you're attractive, confident, or social. If you don't, if you, if you, if people don't like you, it's probably because you don't like yourself. It's probably because you talk sh uh, shit about yourself. It's probably because you say mean things about yourself. Stop doing that. Have the mindset like if you know if you know someone who's really social or confident, um, like that that you know right now, just adopt that mindset of him. Like just adopt it. Just just um, think, yeah, I'm him now. I'm him, but ten times better. And you will become him. Fake it till you make it. You will literally become him naturally because. You are finally understanding self-love and you're not just being mean to yourself. And it's kind of like a cycle. Like you talk shit about yourself, you do worse, and then you talk more shit about yourself and then you do worse and it just keeps happening. It keeps happening. It's not that hard to break the cycle. All you have to, it literally took me. Like the time between the, um, you know, the gym membership incident and the meet and greet was a week. In a week, I went from disappointing my parents to making, like, to, to my dad literally saying, you did brilliant. It's not that hard to break the cycle. Just break the cycle today. Just think to yourself, yes, I'm him. I'm that confident, attractive guy. I'm the, I'm the social guy. I'm going to talk a lot today. And it'll happen. Trust me. I hate saying this, but all YouTubers have to say this. If you like this video... And if I helped you in any way, please consider subscribing. Uh, I'm a very, I'm a small YouTube channel, and yeah, I'm, I'd really appreciate it if you did.